Today we're going to talk about two incredible pond turtle secrets that most pond owners do not know. So we get a lot of questions about pond turtles and I think we've pretty much covered most of them on the other episodes that we've shot here on the show or in our how to design uh, ponds for turtles. You know we get the questions are they going to eat my water lilies, are they going to hurt my fish, how long do they live, you know how big do they get, all these different questions. But today I want to share with you two really cool secrets about pond turtles that most of you guys aren't going to know. Well some of you will know but let me tell you this. Um, one question, it was a young man, he came to our store the other day, he was maybe a young boy, he's about four or five years old, and these kids are so enthusiastic and they're so innocent and they're looking at these uh, amazing reptiles and, and the way their mind is thinking, I got this really cute question. So the question is, hey, uh, how long can the turtle hold its breath when it goes underwater? Because in the, in the turtle tank, they're all basking on the top and then someone would jump under and then they would just disappear for a long period of time. So this young boy was wanting to know how long can they hold their breath underwater. Here's the interesting point. When turtles go, go underneath the water, they don't hold their breath. They can actually absorb oxygen from the dissolved oxygen that's in the pond. So that's why it's important that you have good aeration, you have good waterfall. It's important to have good oxygen levels in your pond. And the turtles are absorbing the oxygen through their cloacal cavity. And for in layman's terms, what a cloacal cavity is essentially their butt. Yes, that's what I said. It's true. It's science. I didn't make this up. So when turtles go underwater, like in, in the natural environment, they, their pond might completely ice over in the wintertime and they're under the water, they're under the ice for months at a time and they're taking in, they're absorbing oxygen through the cloacal cavity. So it's a really interesting thing about uh, pond turtles that a lot of people don't know. I think that was really cool and I wanted to share it with you. The next secret about pond turtles that I think that a lot of people will be surprised about is a female, when they're breeding, a female can, can store the sperm from the mating exchange. They can store sperm for several years. So think about that for a minute. You have a pair of turtles, they breed, the male takes off, he maybe um, he goes runs away and you still have the female. She lays eggs this season, they're viable, you have little babies. The next season comes, you only have this female and maybe a bunch of little babies, and she lays more viable eggs that next season. And then again the season after that. It's really incredible when you think about it that she can store eggs and, and have babies for many years after the fact that they've already spawned. Now I've heard of cases where they've gone as many as three years and still laid viable eggs, but I can't confirm, I can't confirm that, but I know for a fact that we've had um, viable eggs come out of females two years after they've spawned. So I think these two particular tips and tricks about, not tips and tricks, but these secrets about pond turtles are incredibly interesting and I wanted to share them with you today because I don't think that many people are going to ask those kind of weird questions that pull them out of me, except for that young man with an innocent look at the turtles. So I'm going to end the show with a question of the day. I want to know how many of you guys are keeping pond turtles with your, um, with either your koi or just a, a turtle pond all by itself or if you're thinking about doing a turtle pond. That's it for the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. You keep asking pond questions and I'll answer them.